na guilty at nakonsensya ang pasaherong babaeng ito na akala niya magkakaroon siya ng horror grab driver experience pero natuklasan pala niya na sobrang bait at namimigay sa mga homeless ang driver ng kanyang sinakyan. So, basahin natin. Fan ako ng Grab app. Like many people today, I find it extremely convenient and a lot safer than regular metered taxis. Their drivers in general are accommodating, respectful, and very easy to talk to. Last night, I used Grab again from Gateway Cubao to Moriones Tondo. After we dropped off my friend at Quirino, we turned left to Pedro Hill so we could take the Rojas Boulevard route. Medyo madilim na yung kalyang dinaanan namin, maliban sa mga ilang-ilang establishmentong bukas pa ng hating gabi. I was alone with the driver. I was pretending to look at my phone, but all my danger sensors were on high alert because the Grab driver suddenly slowed down and said something that I wasn't able to catch entirely. Basta, ang naintindihan ko na lang, bababa daw siya. Di na ako nakapag-react kasi huminto na siya sa tabi ng isang bangketa. He took off his seatbelt and pulled something from his feet. It was a medium-sized brown bag. At dahil nga nag-aassume ako, napatawag ako bigla sa isang kaibigan. I was waiting for my friend to pick up, but my gaze was fixed on the grab driver as he got out of the car and strolled to the dark sidewalk. I was looking for something that would convince me that I was in trouble and that I needed to get out of there fast. I was starting to get worried because my friend wasn't picking up the call. Tumingin ako sa gawi ng windshield. Nag-iisip na kung saan ako pwedeng tumakbo. When I turned my gaze back to the driver, I was confused by what I saw. He was bending over a dark figure lying on the cold, slightly wet pavement. I was wondering what on earth he was doing when the figure suddenly rose. It was an elderly woman sleeping on the sidewalk. I realized the old woman looked a little dazed from suddenly waking up from her sleep. The grab driver was telling her something as he pointed to the brown bag that I noticed was now placed in front of her. I was watching this interaction from inside the car and the grab driver had his back turned to me. So I don't really know what was being said. But I saw the old woman point at herself, probably asking, Para sa akin? And the grab driver replying to whatever she said with a nod. The sidewalk was dark and lonely, but the look on her face after that lit up the whole street. She smiled at the grab driver and said something to him again. He said something too, waved goodbye to her, and quickly returned to the car. By this time, all thoughts of gory news headlines and horrible viral Facebook stories in my head were gone. They were replaced with a bit of relief and a lot of shock and embarrassment for the way I acted. As he continued driving to our destination, I was silent for about a minute or two because I felt guilty that I had been so quick to judge. Though, I couldn't help but probe a little more about what he did. I asked him if he knew the old woman, and he answered no. It was the first time he saw her. I also asked what was inside the brown bag. He told me it was food. Ah, kailang pagkain mo, kuya. Ay, di po, ma'am. Nagluluto po talaga kami minsan. Tapos, ibinibigay po namin. He replied, Kami? Sino kami? Yung mga tropa ko po at saka girlfriend ko. Ginagawa niyo talaga to regularly? Opo, madalas po. Hindi naman po lagi-lagi, pero medyo madalas din po. Nung birthday ko rin po, nung January 30, nagganito rin po kami. He went on telling me how he and his friends would chip in money to buy and cook meals they would give out to homeless people on the streets. 
They also give used clothes and blankets because, as he said, that's what they need, especially now that it's getting chilly at night. Sometimes, the whole group would ride with him and conduct the simple act of kindness when he wasn't on driving duty. Sometimes, it was just him. I was sitting at the back so I couldn't see his face. But as he told me about this one time, they gave clothes to a homeless child along Rojas Boulevard. I couldn't help but notice how his voice was filled with joy. Alam niyo po ba yung ang probinsyano ni Coco Martin, ma'am? Kilala niyo po ba si karakter ni Onyok? Naku, parang ganun yung isa doon sa grupo ng mga batang binigyan namin. Nakabusangot, tapos pakamot-kamot pa yung ulo. Kasi wala daw kasya sa kanya dahil maliit siya. He narrated laughing heartily as he finished the story. I looked at him through the rear view mirror. He was young, maybe a few years older than me. I'm 21. His friends and girlfriend, I assumed, were all about his age too. Not many people, especially young people, would think about doing something like that without a reason or at least a story behind it. So I asked him who initiated the idea and what inspired them to do it. Ako po, Saka yung girlfriend ko. Araw-araw kasi magdadrive ka, nakikita mo sila lalo na sa gabi, nakahiga sa bangketa. Madalas mga gutom pero itintulog na lang yung gutom nila. Kaya naisip namin gawin to para at least makatulong kaming malamnan yung mga tiyan nila kahit isang gabi lang, he said. My heart swelled and I smiled to myself, silently thanking God for using them as instruments of His love. My respect for them went sky high. And just when I thought I couldn't get any more impressed, he went on to say something that completely blew me away. Sabi ng marami, dapat yung mga ganun daw tinutulungan ng gobyerno. He said while slightly shaking his head, as if he find that thought a bit bizarre. Naisip namin, bakit mo naman hihintayin pa ang gobyerno kung pwede ikaw mismo ang gumawa? After that, I wanted to give him and his group of friends a standing ovation. Sino magsasabi ngayon na hindi na natin pwedeng asahan ang pag-asa ng bayan? These people belong to the current generation of Filipino youth. And look at what they're doing. Making a quiet change, one meal and one piece of used clothing at a time. So, a huge thank you and a big salute to you and your friends, Kuya Carlos Santiago Diaz. Special props to you for using your job as a grab driver to perform this acts of kindness. People like you restore my faith in the goodness of humankind. So, continue doing what you're doing. Salamat at mabuhay ang mga tulad ninyong may malasakit sa kapwa at bayan. Let us not bash ate kasi bumawi naman siya no nung una talaga na maling akala siya na horror story yun pala hindi niya inaakala na 10 times in the goodness of humankind na ganito kabait yung grab driver na nasakyan niya na hindi niya aakalain na um, pwedeng gamitin as a platform yung pagdadrive para mabigyan man lang ng mga pagkain o kaya use clothing ang mga nadadaanan nila sa kalye. Ayan. So, ang lesson natin for today is all about um, yung ating intuition or impression na wag agad mag-judge. Never judge the book by its cover. Uh, wag din masyadong paranoid kasi kung minsan, nakakapahamak ang pagiging paranoid, pagiging judgmental. Ayan. Pero mas worse naman kapag matapobre ka na, di ba? <laughs> Pero, yes, to the goodness, syempre, uh, buti na lang, no? Nagpreno si ate. And hindi siya masyadong nagpanik. And narealize talaga niya yung true heart na um, intention ng driver. So, pinagsisihan naman ni ate. Kaya, let us not bash her. But also, Praise her for realizing her mistakes and syempre, nabonggahan siya sa excel ni Kuya Driver. Kaya sana all, ganito ang pag-uugali ng mga tao. Hindi yung laging nagsisimba, nagbabible verse, tapos pag-uwi, sila yung nananakit. Ayun. <laughs> okay? So, 
thank you. Sana may natutunan kayo dito sa video. And sana madagdagan pa ang katulad ni Kuya Diver. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope na nakarelate kayo. Thank you and have a nice day.